what's up guys, Matt here from Laid Laws Harley Davidson. So right now I'm at the 2020 model year announcement for Harley Davidson Motor Company. And I'm gonna be taking you guys into the dealer only show with me and showing you some of the new stuff, some of the new motorcycles that are coming out for the 2020 model year. All right guys, so let's jump into this 2020 model year CVO Tri-Glide. So every year Harley Davidson comes out with a bike that completely catches me off guard. This model year, the Tri-Glide CVO was definitely that bike that I com just completely was not expecting at all. So this is one of two colors. This is called the Black Stardust with magnetic gray and wicked red striping on there. Beautiful color. I mean, Harley Davidson definitely hit it out of the park on this. I mean, the fit and finish and the quality of everything on this bike is is absolutely beautiful. You got a 19 inch wheel in the front. It's a tomahawk wheel, cast aluminum contrast cut wheel. Let's go to the engine here. So 117 cubic inch Milwaukee 8. This is a twin cooled bike. So in the lower leg fairings there, you do have the radiators, much like on the Ultra Limited and the Rogue Glide Limited now. You got really cool highlights in the lower rocker box covers there. Here's a shot of the seat. You got this really cool like paneled perforated leather on there with like this pad and the rider seat there. You got the color match stitching, got that red stitching detail and you have this back padded area on the passenger seat as well. It just looks really, really comfortable. You really can't beat the, the comfort on a tri-glide. So here's a shot of the rear wheel again, tomahawk wheel, 18 inch wheel in the rear and 19 inch wheel in the front. You got the four speaker uh, audio, boom audio. It does have the one amp, you got 75 watts per channel. It's, so it's considered the boom audio stage one. Boom audio stage two comes on the CVO Street Glide, so not quite as good as the audio system on the Street Glide. Here's a shot of the grips. You got the Kahuna collection on here, so Kahuna collection grips, Kahuna collection like floorboards and brake pedal and everything. I'm a big fan of the Kahuna collection. I just like, I just love the detail and kind of like that hole in there and like they're they're really tasteful use of like the rubber and everything. It looks real good. You got LED lighting and everything in the rear. You got this really cool like CVO insignia and in a couple different places on the bike. I'll show you more of a close up. The grips are also heated. I think I forgot to mention that the Kahuna grips are a heated grip with nine different intensity levels. The seat is also a heated seat, independent front rider and rear passenger heating zones, and you can have it on high or low. Here you got a shot of the e-brake. It's a Kahuna collection little pedal on the e-brake there, which is a nice touch, I thought. You do have highway pegs on here as well. Here's a shot of the front headlights. You have LED lighting with the passing lamps and turn signals, all LED, of course. The LED lights are the new style of light that came out when the 2018 soft tails came out. Here's your ventilator front fairing there with the wind splitter windshield on there. Here's another shot of the inner fairing. Notice all the gauges with the bezels around it. Really cool like chrome highlights around all the bezels. You got the Boom Audio infotainment system, the GTS 6.5 system, brand new last year. Gorilla Glass, new processor, new software. You got Apple CarPlay ready on this as well. The trike is equipped with the HD Connect. It basically gives you like cellular connectivity where you can log into your the app, the Harley Davidson app on your phone and you can see things like what kind of range you have, you know, like where your fuel is at, how many miles you've gone on your trip. You can see things like your tire pressure. You can see and, and be notified if someone's tampering with your bike. So it kind of just connects you on your cell phone with your motorcycle. So this is something that's come out on all the touring bikes that have a fairing this year. The front forks have the Showa dual bending valve technology in there that actually was applied to the tri glide last year it was applied to all the two wheel touring models in the 2017 model year so the front end definitely works a lot better with that dual bending valve you've also got the emulsion style rear shocks now which definitely helped out the ride quite a bit and that was again another change made in the 19 model year they applied a lot of really nice stuff to the trike in the 19 model year. And the trike, believe it or not, actually had the RDRS system that everyone keeps talking about. It's applied to it last year, which is trike specific, but that's basically like your traction control and your drag torque slip control. But basically, if you give it too much throttle, it's gonna sense that. Here's MSRP, by the way, $48,999 for this bad boy. This is officially the most expensive vehicle that Harley Davidson sells. So basically with the traction control, if you're ripping on the throttle too hard and your wheels are gonna start spinning out, the traction control is gonna sense that and reduce the wheel speed to catch up with the road speed and drag torque slip control basically that's the opposite like say maybe you downshift too quickly and your wheels aren't spinning quick enough and you're losing traction and skidding the system the rdrs is going to sense that it's going to give it a little bit of torque in the rear wheel to speed up the wheel speed to match the road speed so yeah here's a shot of the trunk Nothing really different there. You got a really nice soft liner on the trunk and everything. So another shot of all the LED lighting back there as well. And you do have Sirius XM satellite radio on this thing, standard. There's another shot of the cool like little insignias on the bike. Just a lot of attention to detail was put into this bike. I noticed just like the finishes and like the seat detail. The paint is absolutely beautiful on these bikes. You know, I, I can't think of a, a more like premium 
three wheel motorcycle in the world than these things right here. I mean, if you want the best of the best in a three wheel vehicle, the Harley Davidson CVO trike is kind of the way to go. It's kind of a cool, cool that they made their own specific CVO badge for this model. You got the ventilator, air cleaner intake as well, and they're shot at the front end there. So yeah, it's a really nice overall looking motorcycle here. You also get the CVO key as well. So everything is all power on this bike. The trunk locks So You got this really cool key that you can lock everything remotely. Here's the second and final color on the CVO Tri-Glide. This is Blizzard White Pearl with Lightning Silver and Storm Cloud. So the Lightning Silver and Storm Cloud is the striping on the bike, which looks awesome by the way. I think the paint on this was very tastefully done. And if I was a, a Tri-Glide buyer, which I'm definitely not at this point in my life, uh, I would love one of these. Tri-Glide's actually really fun. I, I borrowed one for a weekend and, and ripped around on it, and they're actually really fun bikes. But yeah, here's a shot of all the detail. You got kind of the storm cloud paint on the inner fairing. Once again, they used all the chrome finishes on the bikes. I say that because on the other CVOs, they use a lot of different finishes on the engine covers and the forks. They mix it up quite a bit, but they didn't really do that on the CVO Tri-Glide. They kept all the lighting and the, the detail and accents pretty much the same on this. And you got kind of that CVO badge there as well on the trunk door tour pack with your chrome luggage rack on there. Another shot of the tomahawk wheels. I'm a big fan of the wheels on this thing. They just look awesome with the barn shield outline in the center hub there. Here's a shot of the left side of the Milwaukee 8 117 cubic inch. Got that insignia there on the clutch cover. And you know, as far as power goes, I know a lot of people are gonna ask that question. So Harley Davidson says 125 foot pounds of torque. I'm sure that's measured at the crank. It probably does about 117 foot pounds of torque at the rear wheels. And horsepower, it's probably gonna be a little over 90 horsepower at the rear wheels. I, I'm just guessing, I'm not sure. A lot of people ask if you can do the stage kits on this bike as well. You cannot do the Screaming Eagle stage upgrades on this bike. I don't know if it's because you no know, wear and tear. I actually think I, I talked to one of the engineers. They just don't know about like how the bike would hold up uh, under you know long duration, a lot of use with those Screaming Eagle engine kits. So you cannot do like a stage three or stage four Screaming Eagle engine kit to this bike. But you know, the 117, even even the 114 delivers plenty of power. So and, you know there's really no point in trying to like hot rod these things out. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody and answer any questions. Now this bike, I will say, also comes with the CVO cover. You know, all the CVO bikes come with a cover and it also comes with either one or two of the headsets as well. So yeah, the headsets are those new, the wireless headsets. So it's got the WIM in the fairing, the wireless headset interface module. No, the WIM does not come on the regular touring bikes. I get asked that question a lot. Just the CVOs does the WIM come in there. The wireless headset interface module that allows you to pair the wireless headsets uh, to the bike. Also another common question I get is the HD Connect. Yes, there is a service charge on there. You get one year for free with HD Connect. Then after that, depending on how many years you buy at once, you're looking anywhere between like 12 and 13 and a half dollars per month to use the HD Connect, which is again that cellular connectivity that connects your Harley Davidson app to the bike where you can get some of like the vital stats and everything. So again, thanks for watching my first look video, guys. As soon as I get one of these, I'll probably be doing a test ride video. If you're interested in this bike and you want a specific color, guys, you should probably contact your local dealer. If you live in Southern California, definitely contact me and put a deposit on one of these because their, their production is gonna be pretty limited. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna get like maybe five or six of these the entire model year, if that. And so yeah, this is a bike that you're not gonna be really seeing sitting on floors very much, especially like in multiple of the colors. So if you want a specific color, call your dealer and leave a deposit. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Take care. Bye-bye.